the level in the rallies at the end were like kind of like skyrocket. Sometimes you would think like in a super tight, intense moment, sometimes the level might drop because of nerves or something like that, but the level really rose up. Do you think there's something about being in a tense moment where it really raises the, le the level of the players? Yeah, I think so. It was, uh, especially tiebreak. You know, I had a couple easy mistakes too, but um, I created myself that uh, um, I think it was 3-1 game, a 3-1 points that I I was doing defense, defense, and I put the rub and he missed, so that was yeah. something important to me, and uh, there was a couple, yeah, great points in the tie break, and I don't know, I think uh, I played, I felt better than playing uh, daytime, because uh, mm. yeah. somehow the ball was slowly, slow, slower sure. than yeah. uh, daytime, and uh, I think we were both hitting hard as we can. Yeah. What do you think our sure quality shot time is an amazing comeback in that match? I, I noticed towards the end of the second set, I felt like you could think a little bit more, a little bit more aggressive with your shots, and that um, Evans was coming to that a lot throughout the whole match. Where, uh, what did you feel like changed that you could uh, dictate a little bit more to be a little more aggressive? Yeah, I got a little more confidence in the first set, I got break, and then from there on, I just started to move better, have a little more energy, and I was pretty much wild, and I started to yeah, play a little better, and got some chances, and use those. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I, I know that you were coming out of the so you guys are going through those. Um, does, does your mindset change at all when you're entering the events as opposed to challengers? Because those are very high level ones. No, really, obviously, there's a little more points on the line, a little more money on the line. Like overall, it's like every match is the same, and you have the same mindset. When you were down those two set points in the uh, second set, where, where does your mind go to during moments like that? And how do you uh, try to regroup and get to a uh, kind of better uh, mindset? I mean, I was pretty pissed because the forehand at 15-30 was really easy to miss to give me the double, the double mm -hmm. break points. So I was pretty, pretty upset about that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I figured it, uh, up, I have two points realistically. I'm probably only going to need to save one. I, I felt confident I'd get a three point. Yeah. Uh, serve on at least one of them so you know I'm not looking at it as like two points I'm looking at it as like you know just when that first one kind of grinded out I try to just stay solid and not like just didn't want to like give him anything I wanted both of us were missing a ton so I wanted to make him at least like hit a winner or something yeah. Like a and then, yeah the second one was able to get the free point of my serve Nice, nice, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was cool tonight. Yeah. I mean, the match you played, it was it cooled down a lot. So uh, I don't mind the heat, but I feel like I'm probably going to be playing later. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks. So just interviewed Taylor Fritz. That was crazy. Um, top American in the world. Uh, Tiapa right behind him as well, but all the players are just so cool. So, great time. Great time being here. <laughs> it's crazy. You're in a tough tiebreaker at the end of that first set. What, what was your mindset like when he was like coming back and everything was getting real like tight and crazy? Yeah, I just tried uh, not to thank him when I, when I felt the nerves a little bit. I tried to how do you go even into a match against a guy like Max, like where you just don't know what to expect? What were your preparations? You no, know, I don't really compare yeah. too much uh, differently yeah. in other matches besides hitting more turns. Like that. That's really all you can do is you know, I, I get some like, turns and, and see passing shots. Yeah. This is the best result you've had. Yeah. You said in the past years that you don't think this is going to be your best year yet. When is that year going to be? I'm hoping when I'm at 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I won't know until it happens. Hopefully it happens. No doubt. <laughs> Life's crazy, huh? Just interviewed Fritz. I asked him one question, but still got to be in the press conference. I was so close to him. Wolf, Fritz, I mean, those were two of my favorite guys, two great Americans, but, or whatever, you know, just great players. And to get to interview him is fucking wild. So much fun, you know? <laughs> Fritz, and uh, I passed Coco Goff again on the sidewalk.
which is wild. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I just interviewed Fritz, you know. I, I went to the girl in the media room and I was like, just interviewed Fritz, you know. Regular Thursday afternoon, you know. It's all about working hard and being genuine with yourself. That's the only way I could have gotten to this position and a lot of luck too, so. Anyway, just, uh, just keep working hard and just keep being real and uh, do what you want to do because that'll take you to some amazing places.